This smells so good, you guys. I want to drink it. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another Candles by Victoria Hall. Now, if you watched my first video, welcome back to the Candles by Victoria Love. If you did not, I'll link the link, I will leave the link down below for you to check out. But this time, I have scent descriptions, I have everything I need to know, I have 12 country jars, a scent shot, a jar, and two fun specialty candles. I'm not going to chat, I'm not going to go super crazy, let's just get into it. As always, Candles by Victoria sends you a free scent shot with every order, and if you're not familiar with what a scent shot is, it's basically a two ounce piece of super highly scented wax. I typically pop a whole one in my warmer. You can cut it in half if you want. I just have a very big open space that I like to scent, and the hot plate warmer that I like to use for Victoria's wax tends to hold a lot of wax. My sample scent shot is in Snuggle Baby, so to me, this smells like Snuggle uh, softener. Now, I don't use fabric softener on clothes. A lot of new technical fabrics that are out on the market don't need fabric softener, but I do love the way it smells. And this, to me, is just that powdery, laundry detergent, fabric softener smell. And I think this one will be amazing to melt at night, especially like a night that maybe you might not feel the best like I am now. I just think this scent will be really nice to go to sleep, something that I would never order or seek out to order for myself. So I'm super happy about that. Now, I have a 12-pack of her 9-ounce country jars. These are one of my favorite size jars to order of just the scent I want to try. I think I'll like it more than just one little scent shot, but I wanted to give those a try. So I ordered 12. Now this order are some that I remember loving and some that I was like... Oh, sure, I'll try it. And the first one is Chantilly Lace. Now, the description says, light floral with musky middle notes, rich and warm, complex and intriguing. Even if you're not a floral person, give this scent a chance. Gorgeous. And it's this very light blush pink color. Now, these jars retail for $10.50 on CandlesByVictoria.com, or you can do a six-pack for $60, which is what I did. So it saves you about, what, three dollars if you do that so a nice little bit of savings and this scent to me is the epitome of amazing bedroom scent it's fresh it's floral but it's a little bit sweet etta if you're watching this chantilly lace needs to be on your list it is so just beautiful it screams femininity, but I think if a man walked into your bedroom smelling like this, he'd be like, that smells amazing. Oh, I love, love, love this scent. Um, she does offer like a whipped body cream on her website of a lot of her scents. Some of the oils are not uh, safe for the body, but that one is, and I'm really wanting to order that, but I don't know if it veers on feminine too much, but I wear anything, so... I don't personally think so. There's a lot of different choices. Next, we have Sexy in Stilettos. And does it not look exactly like the color of those beautiful Christian Louboutin shoes? Bright red and juicy. Now, the description on this one is a little bit interesting. So, Lana Indiana was a YouTuber. Um, I don't know if she still makes YouTubers or not, but this scent was inspired by her. It says, my good friend and one sweet, genuine lady. Lana is sexy in her stilettos, and we know you will agree that this is one sexy scent. Created with Lana's favorite scents in mind, a touch of sweetness and oriental musk make this a must-have scent for the summer. Colored red after the soles of Lana's favorite shoes, this candle is sure to delight. Now, everybody agrees when you smell this that there definitely is Love Spell from Victoria's Secret in here. And if you see me rubbing the top, it's just releasing those oils. Candles by Victoria's candles are triple scented, you guys. They are so super strong. So when you go ahead and burn these, they're going to fill up your entire room, home, with fragrance. That's why they are my choice for my studio apartment. Ugh. It definitely smells like Love Spell. I get a little bit more of a sweetness to it, maybe a little bit of vanilla, 
maybe even a touch of that Chantilly Lace. It's really, really hard to describe, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love it. Again, another amazing bedroom scent. Orange Cream Soda. Now, I did have the description, this scent will tickle your nose in more ways than one. So yummy and very strong scent throw. Yes. Now, if you're familiar with the fizzy pop fragrance that a lot of vendors use, Victoria uses it as well. It's like that bright lemon lime fizzy effervescent soda scent that literally tickles your nose. It smells like that, but it's not lemon lime. So I don't know if she has how Victoria captures that effervescent bubbly scent mixed with the orange cream soda. Now, I know they're not uh, unique to Pittsburgh, but I would say within the past four years, we got our first BJ's restaurant, and they have homemade cream sodas, and the orange cream soda is my favorite. It's in that amazing big glass that's frosty out of the freezer. It smells just like that. And for someone like me who absolutely hates the hot, Hates the heat. Today's 94 degrees in Pittsburgh. Disgusting. Melting or burning this in your home makes you feel a little bit cooler. Like I'm drinking that frosty, fizzy, delicious beverage. It is a winner. Next on the list is Cinnamon Donuts. This is a cult favorite from Candles by Victoria. And I can see why. I have never tried Cinnamon Donuts. This is my first time. You guys. Okay. So it says, a treat that will keep you coming back for more. This is a wonderful bakery scent. Light on the cinnamon, but heavy on the yummy. And that is it. I talked about in my last video, cinnamon can be a scent that a lot of people don't like. And I think it's because they equivalent it with like walking into a craft store. Or that cinnamon stick. That bitey, really just, really overpowering cinnamon. Sometimes it's, it's good to have that. That's not in here. This to me... It smells exactly like getting those Annie Ann's cinnamon sugar pretzels. You get that yeastiness from the dough. You get that butter, that rich, warm butter that coats that cinnamon sugar on it perfectly. And it's okay that you get it on your hands and your hands are super sticky. You'll just wash them and it's worth it. It's worth the extra calories because it smells and tastes so good. It's like you literally are picking it up and eating it. Don't eat it, it's wax. But it smells just like that in a candle. She has a dessert candle in Donut Shop that I ordered that I'll talk about in my next video. And if you're thinking, what are dessert candles? Oh, I have some to show you today. Next, we have Log Cabin. Now, Log Cabin, I love. It says, we created this scent for a customer that wanted to play a prank on her hubby by making him think she was making him pancakes for breakfast. And we did just that. A rich blend of maple, butter, and syrup. This scent will have you running to the kitchen. Oh, so yummy. This I ordered for my Sunday morning scents. I think I've told you before, I like burning those cozy, like, typical American uh, Sunday morning you know, it's beautiful outside, you get to sleep in late, you take a shower, you come downstairs, mom or dad made breakfast. It literally smells like pancakes, syrup, and butter. Simply, not any more else to describe it. It literally captures that in a candle. And for me, that's going to be a Sunday morning scent for sure. It's delish. And then we have strawberry white cake. I am partial to strawberry. I love all strawberry scents, and this is no exception. This one says, out of this world delicious, a fresh baked white cake combined with fresh strawberries makes the perfect summer delight. Totally different from all of our other strawberry fragrances, no almond, simple perfection. Now to me, my friend makes, it's a staple, it's this white cake, like a poke cake, that she pours strawberry jello on top and it absorbs into that white cake. A simple boxed white cake with strawberry jello, two really simple ingredients, but it makes an amazing, refreshing dessert. Because, again, when it's hot outside, you really don't want to sit outside and eat when it's really hot. You want something more light, not going to weigh heavy in your stomach, and this captures that dessert in a candle. Light, refreshing strawberry that just is dripping down your chin, refreshing you on that hot summer day 
with white cake. Not vanilla, not chocolate, just a very plain cake where the strawberry is enhancing the flavor and really making that plain white cake extra delicious. Then we have, I already talked about that one, peanut butter cookies. Now, I talked about it in my last video. If you know me, I love everything peanut butter, and this is no exception. Warm and yummy right out of the oven. This scent will make you drool. And it does. When my mom, growing up, would make, she's famous for her chocolate chip cookies, but she made peanut butter cookies and those peanut butter cookies where you take the fork and you press the d imprint in them and then you sprinkle sugar on them and bake them in the oven everybody's made them my mom made them and i would hide under the dining room table i would grab a oh, i would grab a handful of dough and hide under the dining room table because she told me i wasn't allowed to eat cookie dough i still ate it anyway and i love peanut butter peanut butter to me is my comfort food. It's my comfort scent. If I see on a menu literally anything with peanut butter, I'm going to order it, including one of my favorite burger places in Pittsburgh. They have a peanut butter burger. Sounds insane. If you're afraid, get burgers to make at home and put some peanut butter on them. I promise you, you're going to love it. Oh, it smells just like peanut butter cookie dough. Nothing more, nothing less, just the way I like it. Now, speaking of peanut butter, we have Marshmallow Campfire. Ugh, you guys, just as the name suggests, toasted marshmallows open over an open fire. Take everything you know about that marshmallow fireside fragrance that you think you know and throw it out the window. This smells like you open a jet puff bag of marshmallows and you're roasting them over the campfire. They're not burned. They're just crisp. Some people, there's a verdict out there. Comment down below. How do you like your marshmallows? Do you like them black as cool? Do you like them nice and toasty? To me, I like them just light. Just lightly tan. And that smells just like those marshmallows. Some people say Victoria's Marshmallow and Vanilla come off a little bit perfumey. I don't get that. Now, I will say, Marshmallow Campfire, Peanut Butter Cookies, Fluffernutter, I did order that candle, and it's here. Peanut butter cookies and marshmallow campfire combined together make Fluffernutter. And yes, you can order Fluffernutter on her site as a, as a one cent. Oh my god. It's so good. Wait, Fluffernutter, right? Peanut butter and banana. Or peanut butter and marshmallow. Yeah. Okay. I get all the goodies mixed together. Sugared spruce. Now I know I'm like... All fall, all full on fall mode. Why am I ordering a sugared spruce candle? Well, I'll tell you. A most unique scent that combines sweetness and greenery. If you're looking for something a little different, this is the one. Now, this candle and the next candle are my little. Okay, my little. I don't want to say a tribute because she's still here, Deb. Deb, if you're watching this video, I love and adore you. Everything about you, you're so sweet, you're so kind, you embody what a kind person is. She's here on YouTube, she hasn't made videos in years, but she inspired me to reorder from Candles by Victoria, and I binge watched all, I think it's 117 of her videos on YouTube reviewing Candles by Victoria. She lives in the Northwoods in Wisconsin in a town called Tomahawk, which we'll talk about next. And she says that her sugared spruces smell like bubblegum. Now, I don't necessarily get bubblegum, but I definitely get sweet. This, to me, is my favorite Christmas tree scent. I don't like plain Christmas tree. Don't give me any of that Christmas tree, that pine, that balsam. No, I love sugared spruce. And that really captures Christmas to me. Now, Victoria and Deb are really good friends in real life. They are such sweet people. Again, I love Victoria. I love Deb. And this is Tomahawk Memories, based of where uh, Deb is from. Now, Victoria wanted to create a candle inspired by Deb, and the description is a mile long. 
winner of Candles by Victoria scent contest, created for and inspired by Deborah Brown Howard, when I read Deb's story about growing up on her grandparents' farm and all the wonderful memories she treasures from those times, I wanted to create a fragrance that would transport her back to her childhood. I hope we've accomplished that. Fragrances that went into creating this wonderful scent are What Goes Around Comes Around, Sugared Spruce, Autumn Leaves, Peace, a hint of cedar, and a dash of vanilla bean. So, what goes around comes around is like a patchouli blood orange type of fragrance. Peace, if you know the olive branch, that's all I'll say. It smells like that. We have cedar, vanilla bean, and that sugared spruce. I've never been to Tomahawk, but I feel like I captured it in a candle. I love the way this smells. And to me, Deb, every time I smell this candle, I feel like I'm right there with you. And maybe one day I will go to Tomahawk. I'm not sure what I'll do there, but I will go and I hope to visit you. But for now, I can smell it through a screen. And I love it. There's no way to describe it but that. Patchouli, orange, sugared spruce, a little bit of a all olive oil type of fragrance. I know it sounds crazy. Cedarwood, vanilla bean. Please, if you order one candle, Etta, again, I'm looking at you, babe. Check out Tomahawk Memories. Danny from Danny Loves Wax. Check out Tomahawk Memories. I'm telling you, you will love it, honey. You will love it for Christmas. Then, let's move on to the next one. Pumpkin Apple Cinnamon Bread. Sweet, creamy pumpkin, rich cinnamon apple with a crunchy strudel base note. Again, that yeasty bread with pumpkin and apple. And I feel like pumpkin and the apple, you get 50-50. You get that rich red apple with the cinnamon and sugar. You get that really fleshy pumpkin and you get that amazing cinnamon bread. Oh, I had to order this. I'm gonna do a, an entire just fall candle haul and big sizes that I like. Also coming up soon, all the pumpkin scents Victoria offers. 26 of them. I ordered them all in scent shots and I'm gonna review them all for you. An entire video dedicated to pumpkin. I wanna wait until my background changes to pumpkins though. So they're just gonna sit and cure for now. But pumpkin apple cinnamon bread, a classic Candles by Victoria fragrance. We have one more of the 9-ounce jars, and then we can get into some specialty candles. So this one is Best Friends, and look at this color. Love. And Best Friends says, a wonderful aromatic blend of boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate with a touch of soft vanilla. I don't know if it's the elderberry or the boysenberry, but it definitely makes this scent unique than just a typical fruity scent. I pick up on the pomegranate, I pick up on the guava, and what's really crazy about this scent, having a lot of fruit forward with vanilla, when I smell scents like that that have a lot of notes mixed with vanilla, the vanilla just really balances it out and makes it creamy. I really get the actual vanilla in here. I know this is one of Deb's daughter Ashton's favorite scents. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. I love the vanilla note. And the boysenberry and the elderberry give it a little bit more of a juicy fruit scent, a little bit of like an extra sweet scent. Now I did say specialty candles, but I did forget, I did get a 16 ounce country jar candle in my favorite blueberry cheesecake. I talked about this in my last video saying I finished a candle and accidentally threw it away before sharing it with you guys. And we have the Handmade with Love sticker as all of the candles from Candles by Victoria do. And blueberry cheesecake is just that, rich, creamy blueberry. And look at the color, and can you guys see, yes you can with the lights, all those oils. This candle is going to be so strong, you guys. Now these 16 ounce country jar candles retail for $16 or $90 for a six pack. A little bit more expensive, but again, we have a big jar. Mm. I cannot wait to start burning this. Now, we're going to talk about two specialty candles. One, not as adorable as the other one, but still a favorite. This, you guys, is Candles by Victoria's Cube Candle. Do you see this? Her decorative cube candle. So, let's talk about the jar and the candle itself before we talk about the scent. 
What you can do with this candle is you can actually choose two scents that you really like that maybe aren't already mixed together and get them in this candle. What they do at Candles by Victoria is they take the cubes and they fill up the jar and then they pour white. Now I got the same fragrance. They pour that same scent just without color there. So you get all those cubes. It is triple wicked and you're gonna wanna trim these before you burn it. This scent, you guys, Strawberry Danish. Again, another scent that I talked about, and this is almost as big as my head. These are $30, but it's an over two pounds of candle. Look at this. I mean, it is simply gorgeous. Now, one thing that I do want to mention about this candle, please, your first time burning it, burn it on a heat safe plate. I'm going to explain that more in the next decorative candle because it's very, very, very important to pay attention to these candles. The first time you burn it, there is going to be some wax spilling over. It happens. It's because it's overflowed. If you put it, I do even just a paper plate and it's just going to drip down the sides and all that wax, once it hardens on the paper plate, peel it off and stick it in your tart warmer. That way you're not wasting any of that wax. And after that first burn, it'll burn flat. It'll burn perfectly all the way down. But now, strawberry Danish to me is a sweet yet salty strawberry scent that literally makes your mouth water that you actually need a sip of water because the saltiness is like so realistic. It smells just like a strawberry danish. Oh, yes, and there's just a little bit of glitter to make everything better. But look at this candle, you guys. I mean, it's insane, and it's huge. I love it. Now, this guy. Brownie peanut butter cheesecake. Look at this candle, you guys. Can we see this? I'm actually going to do a zoomed in video up close showing you all the details of this candle, but let's break it down. I did have this down. We begin with a layer of our delicious fudge brownie fragrance. We then follow that with a layer of our peanut butter cheesecake, which is exclusive to this candle. We then add a layer of whipped wax in peanut butter cheesecake, top it off with Reese's peanut butter scented embeds, and a drizzle of fudge brownie as the final touch. 36 ounces and $35. Now, you have to remember, everything at Candles by Victoria is handmade, hand-poured, hand-designed by Victoria, her daughter Chelsea. It's impressive, you guys. This for $35, it's gigantic. Now, we have a couple things that I like to say, again, burn it on a heat-safe plate. This is going to overflow. There's some ways to prevent that. This, not as much as the other ones, but... These embeds in the whipped wax, you can actually take those peanut butter cups off, pop them into your warmers. This whipped wax, scoop it, pop it into your warmers. You can even take these guys out, these peanut butter cups, these big ones, pop them in your warmer. Then you're going to get a flat layer of wax. Some of them, you're actually able to turn it a little bit and then it'll all pop off. I don't do that. I'll show you in my next video with the Bake Shop candles on how to do that. But for me, I burn them just the way they're supposed to, the way they're designed to, on a heat safe plate. And like I said, all that extra wax that burns over onto the plate, I just pop off into my warmer. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's so worth it for these candles and the scent. Just like a peanut butter cheesecake. You get that really rich chocolate crust. You get the whipped peanut butter. You get the cheesecake. It is amazing. Now, with these wicks too, because it's whipped wax, it's gonna burn a little bit over. So what you're gonna wanna do with these wicks is I would say probably 20 minutes into burning, blow them out and trim them. They're gonna be long. Pay attention the first one or two times you burn this candle. Pay attention all the time when you burn candles, but especially the first one or two times that you burn this candle because of the overflow. But after that, once you get here, you're gonna have a beautiful burning three wick candle just like normal. It's just beautiful. And don't be afraid to let this sit on your counter for weeks, months, as long as you want. But guys, burn your candles. There's always plenty of more where there's always plenty more where that came from. So this guy, highly recommend. I love her dessert candles. They are a treat. I do love her classic candles as well, but those are so much fun to display and talk about amazing gifts. I 
I can't say enough about them. Etta, I hope you got one because I know you placed an order. I hope you ordered a fun dessert candle so I can take a look and see what you think. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys love this video. Again, Victoria, Ashton, Candleman, Chelsea, everybody, I love you all so much. Great shout outs to everybody. I cannot wait to see you guys for more Candles by Victoria. And one last side note, because I know I talk a lot. Thank you so much for the people who said that my video brought back nostalgia for you. That's something I really wanted to do. Because YouTube has definitely changed over the years. I mean, it's a business now. At the end of the day, it's all about making money. And for me, that's not what YouTube is. It's about sharing what I love with you guys. And if I can make you guys feel like that small community again, yes. And I know people who are YouTubers, you know, have that confidence to get on camera. Some of you placing these orders, start a channel, make a video. I'd love to see it. Post it in the Candles by Victoria Facebook group. I'd love to see it. Let's definitely get Victoria that recognition that she deserves again on YouTube because I feel like the community of YouTube has changed so much. I want to bring it back. And if I can do it, I can share the love with you guys too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.